I hope you're well. Um, so I thought I'll take this time to uh, give you a brief update as to what's been happening in my busy life. Um, as some of you may know that I have recently enrolled on a three year uh, university course studying acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine, otherwise known as TCM for short. Um, it's a part time course which will enable me to uh, juggle my busy family life as well as working on the front line of the NHS. Um, so just to give you a very brief um, overview of what TCM is, it's uh, originated from China and it's been practiced throughout China for thousands of years. Um, it's a prehistoric concept um, which was originally based on cosmology, philosophy, religion, culture, myths, legends and shamanism. But over time um, these theories became systemized into different uh, schools of thought based upon observation and um, insight. Now, um, as time progressed, TCM practitioners try to um, despiritualize this whole concept um, and move away from the godly healing and the shamanism practices um, so that now TCM is widely recognized in China and East Asia as a very um, uh, organized a systematic, logical and holistic approach to assessing, diagnosing and treating uh, diseases at its root cause as well as um, uh, identifying uh, imbalances or disharmonies in the body. Um, I personally um, have been receiving um, acupuncture and cupping throughout my lifetime uh, for various health reasons and I it's effective for me and I, my body responds very well to it but what uh, really inspired me to study acupuncture um, is after seeing patients being heavily uh, sedated on um, opiates, um, anti-epileptic drugs to control um, their pain, uh, their muscle spasms and their um, seizures. And I do believe that acupuncture can and would offer a great complementary therapy uh, uh, for these kind of symptoms and this is something that um, my course leader Dr. TJ Wang who is incredible he is so knowledgeable and so approachable he's just amazing um, him and his team are um, already delivering these kind of therapies in uh, to palliative care patients in the adult hospice care settings um, and what can I say I can I can I just feel so privileged um, and so blessed to be training under some of these um, highly respected um, uh, lecturers uh, from China who uh, were trained as medical doctors at PhD levels with a subspecialty in uh, acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine. Um, so yeah, I, it's going to be uh, a challenging period of time. Um, a very busy period of time, but I want to embrace it all, you know, um, because life is about continuously uh, improving your 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 knowledge and giving back to society, um, and never stop learning. Um, and the other day, my one of my good friends said, "Oh, so what are you going to do about your passion for food?" And um, unfortunately, my dim sum training will probably most likely take the hit first um, because my priority right now is to ensure that I do pass at the end of the three years and um, you know the focus would obviously be on my young family um, so yeah um, who knows maybe I at the end of the three years I'll be able to open a clinic serving you guys uh, dim sum and acupuncture all under one roof I don't know um, so I yeah I, I hope to be able to share more of this journey with you and educate and, and educate more people about the benefits of acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine as a form of complementary therapy to Western medicine. Um, well, thanks for listening and I hope you all um, remain safe and I hope you all have a lovely evening. Take care. Bye.